Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're here at this shrine that we just finished out in a lightning storm, which apparently I don't have to worry about. A Zonai weaponry apparently does not attract lightning, which, yeah, fine with me. So, I am planning to go up here, because there's supposed to be a stable sort of around here. I want to get to the stables, you know, partly to get that going, also so that I can find the great fairy here and see about opening the flower bud to get that going. So this is going to be, if I succeed, the third great fairy I've opened up, and then number four is up in the Heber region. So I've located them all. That'll be helpful. And. Did I leave my horse just sitting out? I did. Huh. That was a few episodes ago. Eh, poor sweet roll. Okay, well, when I reach the stable down here, I can have them go fetch him. And this, I believe, was a shrine? Well... I can deal with that later. For now, I'm going this direction. Question is, how best to get there? I guess what I could do is go here to the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower, launch myself into the sky, and just sort of glide on over. That seems like the best way to do it. If I remember correctly, this tower is in the middle of a good-sized Bokoblin camp. Yeah. Oh, they can see me. Just get out of here. Okay, so I am facing to the west, which is perfect. South High Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Let's see what I can see. So that must be the Skyview Tower for the Gerudo region. Way off in the distance there. And that looks like the Great Plateau with a couple of chasms on it. I have that quest from the uh, Bargainer statue on the Great Plateau. I think that's what those things are called. To knock his eyes down into the depths using those chasms and returning them to his big statue down there. Maybe I'll do that pretty soon. But for now... Okay, there's the Colosseum. I remember that place. And then further to the west should be the stable. And let's see, that river there... So yeah, should be approximately there. Yep, there it is. And that must be the nearby shrine that allows me to fast travel there. Let's see. Anything else interesting up here while I'm at it? Okay, that qualifies as interesting. Not good, but interesting. Huh. Oh, 
All right, come on, just get it over with. Uh, I guess it won't interrupt my flight too badly. that down in the Colosseum? Oh, it's one of those three-headed dragons. Okay, skip, please. Take care of the shrine first. What's all of that over there? Circles down on the ground. Oh, and the lightning storm starting back up again. Let's get in out of the weather. Calling your horse. All right, what have we got here? Ah, the stakes guide you. Okay. I have to get that glowing orange ball over there, do I? Hmm. How do I do that? Do I do that? This looks really complicated. Do I have to actually get over there somehow? Okay, I can create a platform by ultra handing this to that stake in the side of the pillar. So kind of a crude elevator. There's some noise happening in the background. Uh, I'm going to have to take care of that. Just a moment, viewers. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that was audible on the microphone, but it was nothing serious. Just an alarm clock gone rogue. I want to get up to that treasure chest that's above me. I think I know how to do that. Take this with me. Okay, I was about to say, don't you fall on me.
Okay, yeah, I can just push them right into the side of these pillar things. Um. Um, darn it. Okay, wait until it goes back down and then stick it in the side and then use it as a higher elevator. Sir, it would be convenient if I could. Why make, why bother, why bother myself with making something cunning when I can just do that? Much easier. Okay. All done. Skip all this stuff. Six of those, I can get a new heart container or stamina piece. I seem to have enough stamina for now, so I guess I'll go for a heart container. Boss Bokoblins command a team of Bokoblins in battle. Let the whole squad bunch up so you can knock them out all at once. Yeah, sounds like a decent strategy. Alright, where's the uh, Great Fairy? There she is. More donking. Donk, 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 donk. Where's the next shrine? Is that it? In there? That looks kind of small. So I don't think that stone I can see right there is the shrine, but maybe it's in that cave. That's more or less the direction the, shr the shrine sensor seems to be pointing me. Had to check to see if that was a Korok. Didn't think it was, but... Best to make sure... All right, let's go talk to the great fairy, see what she wants. Some kind of instrument to be convinced to come out of her flower bud. Mm. Nothing 
up here about a Hylian Shroom. All right, well. What instrument do you want to hear the dulcet tunes of? Oh, the nerve of you coming here. Please, go away. You're just a monster who's after my blessing of clothing enhancement. The world outside my bud is filthy with gloom and full of monsters. Don't try to deny it. I know it's true. My older sister Tara told me. Even the music I love is gone, and until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world, I'll never go outside again. I moved near the stable to grant my blessings to travelers. If I heard the sound of a flute played by a musician in a troupe, I'd feel cheered up enough to come out and face the world. A flute, huh? What Pura has is a recorder. And some people mistake that for a quote-unquote flute. So maybe that's what she means? I've been thinking that Pura was going to be joining this troop sooner or later. Oh, that's interesting. Make yourself at home. Why, hi there. Hello and welcome. Make sure to visit the stable before you head out. That's just common sense. This is Outskirt Stable, home of the Great Fairy Kesa. If you have a question about horses, you can ask the counter out front. Or you can use the counter inside if you want to stay at the end, of course. Great Fairy? The Great Fairy grants travelers a blessing that gives them strong protection. Well, that's what folks say, at least. <laughs> Did you come to see the Great Fairy Kesa? Technically, yes, but that's not the only reason I'm here. Unfortunately, she sealed herself away since the upheaval. She hasn't come out since. She sealed herself away after the upheaval. She hasn't come out since. Before that, she used to make an appearance from time to time. She's a big fan of music, you know, especially flutes. Mm. Why, when the flutist Piper came by, she would poke her face out of her fountain. It's been a long time, though. Okay, so I have to find Piper. Where's Piper? Hmm. At least it's not Pura. Or maybe it is Pura and she goes by a different name. A stage name, you might say. Huh. I guess we'll find out. She sure loved that music group when that used to pass through. I wish they would come by and play for her again. Ah, ah my apologies. I was just thinking out loud. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay, they are here. Maybe they can tell me where Piper is. Outskirts stable, supporting the association, one point to pony points. Okay, there we go. Got a reward. Uh. What was it? Just another horse slot that I could use? Okay. Go uh, fetch long suffering sweet roll, please. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh. One last thing. Have you already seen the Zonai ruins at Dig Dog Bridge? You can get there by heading west down this road to a three-way intersection and then turning south. So that's what those weird circles on the ground were. I've heard that the Zonai ruins that showed up there are the biggest in the world. Well, I thought it sounded interesting. If you haven't seen them yet, you should take a look. It might be worth a glance. Okay, so oh. let's get the reward. Ah. 20 points reward, yes please. Ooh. Register an additional horse. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. If there's a wild horse that catches your fancy, <laughs> I see what you did there, please bring it to us. Three more points. Ah. The knight's saddle and bridle. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Pen. What have we got over here? A torch and a pot lid, okay. That is strange. Oh, that's some Gerudo. Let's go talk to them first. Huh. 
Hi, ladies. What's the word on the street? Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off on our search for Vo. I wanted to put all our Vo and you lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. oh, that reminds me. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They called him a hero. Ah. A hero, huh? I bet he's a strong Vo who's taller than us, even. <laughs> Okay, they're not going to believe that I'm the hero, which is probably good, because you know, Zelda has her claim on us. Okay, I'm going to take him out. <sighs> you mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be the one to make the first move. Yeah, and also taking him out makes it sound like you're going to kill him. I mean, in some fantasy fiction, you see, you hear about... Um, groups of women who do like the Black Widow's Kiss I kind of sort of doubt that's a real thing though anyway I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero but how would we even recognize him Ooh. oh the legendary sword now I remember <clears throat> now I remember the hero is carrying the legendary sword okay good they're definitely not going to believe that it's me mm. okay the legendary sword wait what is the legendary sword anyway if it's good enough to be called legendary, then it probably glows or something. <laughs> oh, maybe it's really tall. Taller than us, even, if we were standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. Uh, that sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier to just launch a surprise attack. <laughs> okay, maybe she's serious about taking him out. Probably a good thing that they won't recognize me. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. <sighs> Risa, you have to stop referring to Vo as targets. Okay. Is this guy part of the uh, map making core? I don't remember what they're called offhand. Let's change outfit. I don't need the glide clothes anymore. And they're not paying attention to me, so they wouldn't notice me taking my shirt off. Oh, oh hello, partner. You here to investigate the rumors, too? I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Yeah. Oh, you're also a reporter? I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. Mm. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman call came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. Another Yiga trap? Hmm. Mm. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Ah. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose, identifi whose identity can't be revealed? Mm. And if revealing who she is to strangers could be dangerous, could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger, well, combining these facts makes me wonder if it isn't actually a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but there is a slight chance. There's only one way to know for sure, though. We'll have to peck away at the news and see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was the woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Yeah, this is definitely another Yiga trap. He's blonde, same as Link, so... Maybe they thought he was Link. The Beckoning Woman. Okay. Hmm. Let's ask these guys first if they know Piper. Where is he? Ah. Hey there, Traveler. Welcome to Outskirts Stable. The Stable Trotters are here right now, so do yourself a favor and listen to them perform. But the Flutus Piper isn't here. Wonder what happened to him. Yeah, can you tell me anything about that? Oh. He's a precocious young flautist. When I hear the sweet sounds of his flute, I felt transported. All my worries melted away. Piper was the best part of the band, if you ask me. Without him, the stable trotters just aren't complete. You know, he and my little sister Haiti are close. Maybe he followed her to Highland Stable. Then again, that stable is a good distance away on the southern edge of Hyrule, so probably not. Listen to me. I think about this stuff so much I can hardly focus on work. Highland Stable. Hmm.
Okay, there's two stables to the south that I haven't gone to yet. There's this one right here in Fural Plain next to Haran Lake. But there's also one over here next to the Floria River. I don't remember exactly where it is. Ah, there it is. That's where it was in Breath of the Wild. Um, what would be a good marker? I guess that. That's what I've been using for shrines and light routes, but... I mean, there's going to be a shrine nearby, so I have a fast travel spot, so yeah. Good enough. Okay. Can you guys lead me to Piper? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Traveler, have you come to meet with another great fairy? Sure have. Huh? No, am I wrong? You're not here to meet... I just said I had. Perhaps you came here to visit Outskirt Stable. No. I'm sorry to say the great fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out in a while. She must be scared to appear, just like what happened at Woodland Stable. The great fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troop. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but... I'm afraid Piper isn't with us right now. No. Oh, Piper is a young flautist with the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop and we haven't seen him since. Okay, I've got that much, but any idea where he went? A traveler from Farron to the southeast said they heard the sound of a flute at Highland Stable, but... Okay, so I guess I do have to go to Highland Stable. Watch out. There's some danger. Need something? Maybe you notice the Zonai survey team unit. Okay, that's what I was thinking that guy was. The Zonai survey team. We do know this area pretty well since we've been assigned to investigate here. Since you asked, or were about to, I'll let you in on some exciting news. Ah. I heard from my sources that there's a big hole around here, what we call a chasm. I'm here to both study said chasm and to get the word out so people don't slip and fall in. I suspect it's at the top of that wall, but there's no way to verify that without climbing up there. <laughs> Not that anyone will be doing that. You mean on the Great Plateau? I did open a way so that you could just walk up there. Okay, so we have two things to do. We need to investigate this story that could possibly be Princess Zelda, but sounds like another Yiga trap. And we have to find Piper. It sounds like the Zelda story is right here in the area. What's going on back here? What a mess. Yeah. Oh, a traveler. Hello. Mm. Things are a bit of a mess around here. If you need to use the stable, you can check in at the counter. Oh, but if you have questions about the routes of the area, then I'm the guide for you. If you're passing through here, then you must be heading to Gerudo Town, right? Eventually, yes. Allow me to offer information about my regional recommendations, free of charge. Okay, I already know the route to Gerudo Town. Is it Gerudo or Gerudo? I've heard both. Well, anyway, recommendations. Mm -hmm. Well then, have you heard about the Colosseum ruins? Yes, I've heard about them. To get to those ruins, face directly away from the front of the stable. Then take a look at the mountain that's somewhat off to your right. You'll find the ruins by crossing over it. Mm. When you stand right in the middle of the strange circular ruins and close your eyes, something happens. You can hear the battle cry of those powerful soldiers testing their strength long, long ago. Oh. Hearing that, you can't help but feeling a rush of adventure. I highly recommend going to those ruins. But be warned, a truly vicious monster has settled there. You'll probably end up testing your strength against it. Oh. Ah, I'm finally back to doing the work I enjoy. But don't worry, my humble guiding services are still available. Is there anything else I can help you with? Eh, might as well ask him for the route, even though I already know it. Ooh. If it's Gerudo Town you want, then the safest route is to cross Dig Dog Bridge. To get there, head right when you leave the stable, then take another right at the three-way intersection. A massive Zonai ruin fell near the bridge. The place is swarming with researchers. You can't miss it. Okay, well that's the direction I need to go for this... Uh, possible Zelda sighting. Uh -huh. 
Okay, take horse. Ah. Roach doesn't have much going for him except for pole power. With Goldilocks, it's strength and speed. And Sweet Roll is kind of a mix between the two. Hmm. Well, Roach hasn't been out for a while. Let's give him some exercise. Okay, yeah, we need the uh, towing harness. Separated. Eep. Are you kidding? Yeah. Am I going to have to build a flying machine? I can't see any other way to get him up there. make the parts for a flying machine easily enough. That is to say, I'm carrying the parts for a flying machine. All I need is two fans and a steering column. So, eh. some fire fruits? I need a few more of those. I've used up a lot and I'm kind of running low. Right. I need to reach my friend. Yes, yes, I get it. Oh, wrong power. Okay, where should I attach him? On the back, maybe? No, that's kind of in my way, isn't it? Better put it on the better put him on the front. Oh man, this is not gonna work! Power is running low! Really fast! Oh man. Too much weight. Way too much weight. Ah, uh, this is not gonna. Hmm, how can I fix that? Do I have... I have some rockets. Or a balloon. 
two ways to get more lift. Hmm. I have a lot more balloons than I have rockets, but I only have two flame emitters. Okay. the wrong angle. That's also the wrong angle. I need it to go up. forward or backward, just straight up. I need it to be parallel with the control stick. go. This is a very bad idea. I'm going to do it anyway. Come on, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> I probably could have just used the rocket by itself. Oh well, I have my air bike. down hard enough. Okay. Where'd I leave my horse? I don't want to drop this on anyone, but I can't see. Okay, there's no one down there. This is safe. Saved the history of those? Really? <laughs> okay. I just want to recreate this, thank you. Good enough. 
Just towing along my air bike. Don't mind me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, this must be the eager person who wants to drag me into a trap. What's that on the road up ahead? That yellowish thing. Oh, it's one of those banana traps. Okay. Alright, so she's going to run down there, see the banana, and be unable to resist it. Am I right? Oh, no, my poor friend. Please, you must save her. Are you okay? B -b Blonde hair. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. <laughs> yeah, Yiga Trap. This is beyond obvious. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's in hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank you so much. My friend is in hiding right now. That's the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. We should go to where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil to her. I will wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Could this possibly be more obvious, for goodness sake? Okay, so I don't want to be seen. Roach, do not get between me and the target. That is like archery 101. Do not get between an archer and the target. Just don't. Oh no, no, that's wrong, that's wrong. Don't want a wing. I want an eyeball. Oh, for the love of... Is everyone ignoring Archery 101 right now? Not that! You stupid... Are you... Are you kidding me? There's a blue book hobo up ahead, is there? Hmm. Did this fail the uh, test? Or is it just that I can't lead him there? Where are the puff shrooms? There's the puff shrooms. shield. Have I taken a picture of that? I have not. Bouncy stick. <laughs> Looks like the flying monsters have gone to sleep also, and now this guy with the clopping hooves on his 
uh, donkey are, is going to mess this up. This is a black book one. I'm going to need a better weapon. have a better weapon. Not one that I'm willing to use, at least. Is he not going to wake those guys up? Because that would be really useful for him to not wake them up. Oh dear. Okay, I don't want to waste this on these guys. Um... the other flyer. Okay. it would appear. Okay, that worked. I was worried he'd wake up. to the side. But it wasn't opening my uh, weapons menu. Okay, where exactly am I going along here? I remember finding a cave, but where is it? Must be where she's leading me. Almost forgot about Roach. Okay, Roach is following. Oh, there she is. Okay, is this where I'm going to kill her? Or is she going to lead me even further?
Good boy. Boy? Girl? Horse. Good horse. Okay, let's get ready for this. Let me see. Uh, shock emitter bat. These Ega guys are kind of fast, so I don't know if that's really the best choice. A slow weapon like that. Now then, let me see. Uh, hmm. She knows I'm here. I can't sneak up on her. Let's go for defense power. Or I guess I could go for attack power. What kind of food do I have cooked up? I don't have any defense or attack food, it would appear. I'll have to change that. Okay. Time to kill you? My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by my concern for my friend. She's resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that the path is so poor. Ah. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? Uh -huh. We can meet right we can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. <laughs> well, Leading me on a merry chase, aren't you? Oh, there we go. They're at the fallen debris, huh? I think this is not gonna work. Up, get up, 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 just high, get up high. Was it here? Of course it wasn't. You're leading me on a merry chase, aren't you? Stupid Yiga people. Can't you just attack me here so I can kill you now and be done with it? <laughs> it must be him then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Ah. She's waiting nearby around the debris on the opposite cliff. I will go on ahead and let her know that you're coming. <laughs> it's a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. <laughs> well... She said over there... Alright, so I've pinned that. Let's go explore around up here as long as I'm in the area. Oh, I already have a picture of these things. Oh. Let's see if it's better than the other one. Ah, never mind. No, you know what? I do mind. I know I already have the herons. Let's see. Anything up here? Korok's treasure? Anything? What the? What is that? Mm. 
Yeah, you know what? That is a slightly better picture. Hmm. That's some interesting music that just started up. Sounds like Goron music. I love a good ring. Hmm. else up here <clears throat> up here <clears throat> sorry about the coughing I am getting over a cold as it happens <clears throat> hmm. okay he loves a good ring Hey, I made myself quite the tower, eh? Just look at that. Oh. And I put a bell, I put that bell right on top. Why, you ask? Because I thought up a new, great new game, a test of strength. Want to give it a go? Sounds interesting. Oh. More interesting than dealing with the blast of Yiga. Yep, your goal is to make the bell at the top of this here tower ring as loud as you can. Throw something at it with as much force as you can. Do that and the bell will answer. You're welcome to all the stuff over there. Some of it's left over from when I built the tower. And some of it's and some of it's this weird junk I didn't really know what to do with. Anyway, you can use whatever you want. Oh. Once you ring the bell, the game ends. And you only get one ring per round. Oh yeah, also, I built this thing all on my own. And parts ain't cheap, so I gotta charge you a fee. You get it. 30 rupees per try, eh? Eh, that's not too bad, sure. <laughs> Great, let me get things ready. Okay. Well, I think I know what I want to do. Let's see. Where was this? There's the stabilizer. As I was saying, there's the stabilizer. Okay, so which is the bottom and which is the top? Okay, so that's the bottom, that's the top. Okay, so that's how I want to position it. question is, how tall do I have to make it?
Yeah, how tall do I have to make it? Um, hmm. Okay, if I... Let's do a quick measurement. Okay, that looks to be just tall enough. So now the question is... How do I increase the force? So that it really goes up like, say, a rocket. And then what do I put on the edge of the... What do I put on the edge of the um, catapult so that it really smacks into that thing? And now that I think about it, putting a rocket there probably is not the best way to go about this. Because that'll lift it straight up, and I don't want to do that. I want it to arc up into the bell. So let's uh, not do that. Hmm. I just had a thought. These stakes, I just played around with them a little bit in that shrine over there. Still the wrong angle. do I think Come on, get get out and up a little there okay that should do it for the angle but now, what do I do to hit the bell?
And... This might be too much weight for it to really work well. But then again, it might do great. Yeah, that didn't work. gonna miss the bell. That might work. <clears throat> okay. Here's my go. I thought that was a monster roaring. That bell sure is loud. Ah. Ho ho, that must have been at least an 87 on the Mega Ding scale. Here, take this as a thank you for giving that bell a good smack. An opal. So basically, I spent 30 rupees for an opal. Eh, okay. But I know you can go even louder than that. Come on, make it sing. Uh -huh. Want to take the test of strength again? 30 rupees? No, I'm done for now, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'll come back. Eventually. All right. Now let's go fall into the Ega Trap so that we can kill them and be done with this. Okay, that should that should be enough to get on with stuff. Okay, are you going to keep leading me on a merry chase or are we done yet? <sighs> I'm sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair Courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the Swordsman Link, correct? Yep, and you are a Yiga clan guy who I now have to kill, correct? <laughs> he he he, I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop on our little journey. Your grave, ha ha ha. This is getting irritating. <laughs> oh, I'll let you off this time. 
but don't expect us mercy next time. Prepare yourself. <sighs> yeah! Hey! Hey, partner! Well? This is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out on a limb there. I've been scouting from the skies trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down, and hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? Eh, it was a Yiga plot to try to trap travelers. What's that? The woman who was asking for help was actually a member of the Yiga clan. So she disguised herself as a villager and was trying to lure the princess's appointed knight to a trap. It really is some impressively bad luck they keep coming after you instead, isn't it? Yeah, bad luck. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. You know, we've now chased five of the leads that might have had something to do with Princess Zelda. Ah. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Okay. Anyways, time I took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. Sapa. So long. Full blades. Anything else from these guys? Nope. Just the swords. No rupees or anything. Okay, I have two of these sticks. Let's drop the uh, used one and pick up this. And what's that on top of that stone archway? Oh, it's just a bird. Okay, I thought it was some kind of mushroom or something. Okay, well, this episode has gone on long enough. Before I end it, I wonder if I can find my air bike again. I just kind of dropped it. Probably ended up in the water. Almost certainly ended up in the water. Nah. All right. Well, the air bike is gone, but no biggie. I got plenty of parts to rebuild it if I want or need to. Let's not make the mistake of leaving the horse out this time. Poor thing. Alright, Embry. Take horse. Oh, not... I thought I was saying you take the horse, but no. Board horse. Okay. Ah. Zonai ruins a dig dog bridge. That might be worth checking out in the next episode. I want to go to the Highland Stable. But, you know, I could check out those Zonai ruins first and then head on south to the Highland Stable. But in the next episode, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah. Check out those Onai ruins in the next episode. Go down to Highland Stable to try to find Piper. And uh, then come back to try to lure the Great Fairy out of her bud. 
See you then.